Bring it back. What's up everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the garage. Today's video, I'm gonna do uh, just a plain old stupid brake job on a Chevy truck. Power stop! Stop me with power! Let's do it. Go for it. I'm not, what you call it. I'm not sure what you call that mode. Nothing, it looks good. Is it? Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! All we gotta do is get these wheels moving off the ground. Why don't you, uh, use your arm? Ah, uh, like there. Ooh, we're there. Huh? We're there. Let's get some jack stands. I don't know if A little more. Ah, spider! Where? Big one. A couple of them. Where? I don't see a couple. Mm -hmm. I don't see one spider. Can you see that jack stand underneath the driver's side? Can you raise, raise it up one click? How? Grab the middle part. No. Now you pull that part up, the part that just went down, pull it all the way up as far as it'll go. Is that it? I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Back out. Back out from underneath there. Okay. Don't stand in it. Don't, while I'm jacking the truck, don't be anywhere underneath it. Okay. Let's see if I'll go up and work with like. Yeah? It won't even go up quick. It did. It. It's good. Perfectly. Can you do that to the other side too? Side? Take this one. And put it underneath the frame rail. See how it's right underneath the frame rail? That heavy metal part of the truck. Here, bud. Here. This is the frame of the truck. That's the strongest part of the truck. You put it right underneath. And the truck sits down on it. Are the wheels still, the wheels still spin? Try to turn the wheel. I just leave this here for safety. What? This. I lock it down and I leave it there. Please! Stop, please. Okay. That's dangerous. Now that now we're in danger. What? Why are we in danger? Because if the truck shifts, we can fall off the jack stand. If we're over here working on it, here. Take those more off. Lug nuts. Lug Hey, 
Okay, you want to sit on this? Yeah. Let's put the lug nuts right here. Set that on the hood. Huh? Can't we do it? Can I do the other one? Hey, you want to do this? I want to take the tire off. Yeah, I'm gonna go put on the Crocs. Okay. Stick this over here. A little crowd over there. It's a tire party. That's so a tire party. Okay. So you put the tire on and you took the tire off. No, I, took the, I haven't put these tires on. Those are fine. Those are That screw is loose. That's cool. Not. I don't know. I don't see this screw. Check this fork tire off. I don't feel any play at all. I don't feel anything. It feels tight. So this truck is almost all freeway miles. So this, I, there's really no movement at all. Who is that? The camera. Let's get this caliper out of the way. Uh, then we'll uh, get this rotor off of here. I'll show you the new stuff. Tires are worthless. These are the wheels and tires. No. Huh? No. So then how do we sell all those wrenches I just grabbed? Not one of them's right, huh? I might have the oh, right one. There. I might have the right one. Uh, right wrench. Two. I just got. I got a bunch. Of, I just, I just got a bunch of wrenches. I know you I uh, maybe. I'll let you have them. I have them. Hey, Dad. What's that too? Huh? How about I train you a tire for some lunches? Put it back on that tray. Let's see. It's a lot of them. Yeah, I got the hex, the hex tool for these for the old one caliper, but I don't know how I've ever done breaks. Oh, I gotta just keep getting bigger. Okay, we're good. Ow. <laughs> 
Like tapping. Huh? Like tapping. Oh man. I thought we could nail it. No, I just gotta break this. I just gotta break this um can loose. So this sun sun. Wait, Dad, don't do it about me. I was just tapping us off. Off, off. Found it. Set me up with a 19 millimeter ratchet. What? Are you able to set me up with a 19 millimeter ratchet? What's that? What is that? Yeah. You know the clicky clicker. The what? Clicky clicker. I can't hear you. Click, 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 click. French? Yeah, soccer wrench. Okay. 19 millimeter. Right here, son. What is this? This part? It's called caliper. These right here? A caliper counts. These are the pistons. When you hit the brake pedal, the fluid that goes through this line right here comes into this caliper. There's one on the front on both sides. 
And there's a similar thing in the back called drums. They're all part of the braking system. When you hit the brake, these these come out of this floor and squeeze on these right here. These are your brake pads. When you squeeze on these, these squeeze this. This is the brake rotor. That's connected to those spins with the wheels, see? So when you squeeze on them, it stops the wheel from spinning. That's how your car comes to a stop. Mm. Cool, huh? I need a budget for it. Got a bungee cord. Huh? Need a bungee cord or something. What's bungee cord? I don't know if we have any bungee cords. Let me look. I need to hold this out of the way. See what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm getting at. Wash your hands. After we snack. Always, can you have your snack without touching it with your bare hands? Because your hands are dirty. No. Okay, you need to wash your hands. You don't want this car junk on your food. Bunch of cord, I do that bunch of Finding out the hard way. Break those nuts loose, those bolts loose. If I hear the hold this caliper bracket on. This right here is a caliper bracket. Holds the caliper in place. Yeah. There's two bolts back here that hold it on. Very Just like shock them loose real quick. There's not enough room really for impact. I don't have the impact. Goodness. 
really in there. What is it? Not bolt I mean. Ooh. I don't know why it's so tight. Do a lot tight. Somebody did these brakes once upon a time before I had this job. Changes the level of the darkness of the shield. There we go. We're moving now. It doesn't. What? Well, you, it won't. It won't. It won't go dark until um, you strike an arc. You mean until strike? When you strike an arc with the welder, it's just lock tight. All that was just lock tight. Oh, no, 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 no. This? Don't. When you strike an arc with the welder, pssst, that's when the shield darkens. Or if you look at the part. You can look at the sun too. But make sure it's on the darkest level to do that. Okay, here we go. Last part of this is coming off. Yar! Do you? Let me see yours. I probably need a, a T40, T25. I need something a little bigger than a T25. I think I can get it with a T25. But you know, I can get the right size. That's cool. That's worse. I found some stuff close to probably what you need. Here's the first row. Make sure you know what size. Read, read the size, match them up. They look like the type of sewer users. Um, they're similar, but they're we, we're looking for torques, not sockets. What torques? Torques. What torques? Those little star star bits. Okay, here's the new stuff. Got yeah, here. Power stops. Boom. I know I said throw this away. I'm still going to throw it away. Another day. There you go. I got a better chair than you. Huh? I got a better chair than you. I don't have a chair too high for me anyway. Huh? That chair is way too high for me. I know. Nice, right? You see this thing? Yeah. Okay. Help with the brakes on this. 100, 100 year old brake design. 100 year old? Do you, know, do, you, do you even know how old it is? What? Because you said 100 year old. Yeah, these brakes, the style of brakes that the GM trucks use is very, 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 very old. They really haven't changed that much. Probably uh, since the early 70s. How long is that? Early 70s. How long is that? 50 years. So it's not 100, eh? Half of it. It's like a ride. Since it's downhill, it does this. Look. Woo! 
kind of like a Disneyland, the one that's like a little bit off of the, oh, it's like a haunted house. You know, you're in the little chair in the haunted house and it kind of goes down the ramp. You're like, whoa. And it spins round and round, kind of. Exactly. Whoa. And it whips around and you got guys sitting next to you. And you're like, who are you? Okay. That's on every ride. What? You you only go for any of your family members. I know. Do clips. Ooh, new boots. Boots. Right there, no boots. Those are new ones. Nice. A little bit of brake grease. Nice. What what brake grease? Right here. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Lubricate the back sides of both hey, the Dad, pads. The haunted house goes like this. You and then you go down, kind of slanted. Down? And then you go. And, now look. Then you go back up and then you go down, slanted. And go on that and you just keep spinning kind of like that. Keep spinning kind of like that. Look. And then you go out diagonally. Diagonal. Down. Yeah, when I was a younger man, I did not know the importance of replacing these. And I always had really loud, noisy brakes. Now I replace those. Oh, these come out. You, you replace them and he has huh? some brakes. Yeah, it has really noisy crummy brakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you're in the way, baby. In the way of what? Camera. I can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Actually, yes, I can. Look. Look at the camera. Let me look. Then you'll see the camera. You can look back at you. I know a way I can get a really good view of you. Oh. Make you go higher. Okay, three pads in. Now the fun part. I collapse the uh, caliber. What do you mean collapse it? Watch. Take a line of the people. Huh? Take a line of the people. Bye, I'll be back later. Okay, cow break. Reservoir is open. I usually just use my clamp and a wrench. Here we go. Ready? Nice and easy. You know. Cut. Take two. Cut. Take two. Nice and easy. Watch them, make sure they're going in nice and easy, kind of at the same rate. Give it a squeeze, let it catch up. See these bad boys, they were almost all the way extended. There was nothing left of the brakes. Mechanically, we're almost at the limits here. Just take your time, go nice and easy, they'll, they'll go in pretty easily. Reset the clamp. Okay.
Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. How many of you guys like Simon and Simon? Good show. I like that power wagon. Not even a dog guy on that truck was cool. How many shows are uh, centered in San Diego? That was pretty cool too. Of course, I'm nowhere near San Diego, but it's all good. Okay, we're in there. We're good. Bad boys are sunk. See that? They were sticking out here. Now we're all the way back in there. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse off with some brake clean. Spray this all down again. Grease up the back of these pads. Let's do that now. Bad idea. That's bad. Not good. Not good. Are we cool? Are we cool? Are we okay, buddy? Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. No leaking. More bungee cord. More bungee cord. Act. Stupid. I was buying a new brake for it, shouldn't Clean them, clean them, clean them, clean them, clean them. Okay, let's put this dude back on. Come on, baby. No more shenanigans, okay? Just be cool. Be friends. Be friends. I'll take care of you. Take care of me. Just like happy little trees. Where's my other bolt? What? Driver side done. Off camera, I'm going to do the other side, and we'll put some wheels and tires on this thing.
I'm very happy with the brakes. They, they're they noisy at first, like when they're cold, they're, they're kind of noisy. They make a lot of noise because they're performance brake pads. But they're noisy when they're cold. And as soon as you drive a couple blocks, they just, they quiet right down and they're just, they're like butter. But they bite, they bite hard. And I like that, it's, that's great. Because the other ones I felt like, you know, the factory brakes, you hit the brakes and you're like, am I, am I going to stop? Maybe? Sure. But the new ones, there's no doubt. And I, I, you know, with kids and it's my daily driver, I want to be able to, you know, I want to be able to blow it down. Take it down. I'll put the kit in the uh, description. Uh, should fit any 99 to 07 Silverado or Sierra Classic. So there's that six and a six by five and a half bolt pattern disc brake kit. Thanks again for watching. Check out this video. Give me a subscribe, comment down below, tell your friends. Have a great day.